Hi everyone, the next clips that you're about to see were filmed a year and a half ago before I upgraded camera and fell off the face of the earth, so I do apologize for the camera quality. However, I hope you guys enjoy taking a brief look at one of my collections that I have. I know it might seem a little bit childish, but it brings me happy, uh, happiness, and that's all that matters. So without further ado, here's a video of me a year ago when I filmed it. Welcome back. I missed you. So as I promised, I will be talking about more of my Draculaura collection today. Today we are going to be moving on to some of the sets that you uh, could have purchased at the height of Monster High's fame and glory. So let's get into the sets, shall we? All right, and we are back to look at some of Monster High Dracula specific sets. This set is by the Monster Family. Again, in the last video, we did be... <laughs> Sorry, English is hard. We were introduced to her little sister that she does have. Again, still don't remember her name as I'm still recording this the same day, but I can easily look... Her name is Fangelica, how very fitting for a little sister. But this is just a little kitchen set. Um, Dad is not very good, aka Dracula, is not very good at cooking food. Um, fun fact, Dracula is actually a vegan, which means she does not drink the blood of human beings. So she will drink pig's blood, cow's blood, any other blood other than human blood. But that being said, it's still not her favorite, so she has kind of pretty much changed her entire physiology to be able to eat regular human food, such as carrots and um, vegetables. She's very big on vegetables. Her boyfriend is um, a werewolf, and you know, those two things just kind of don't mix. But they make it work. It's so nice. It's so cute. But I love this set. It comes with the stove, the actual island chair for her to sit down in and you can definitely tell that they put a lot of detail into making sure that these colors all pop and that you can find them in the event that because they are smaller pieces aka choking hazard because they are smaller pieces you'll be able to find them on the ground all of them are hanging up they do hang up on this lovely little above the stove um uh, above the sink area yes that is a gargoyle faucet i love it living for it and her outfit is so cute. She has bows on her shoes. They are heels. Nice little now four inch heels. Not her standard like five to six. Because again, she is the shortest vampire out of all of them. But she does have this lonely little bat crown chef hat headband. To let you know that she is the chef in charge here. And that she will be taking all of the cooking responsibilities from her dad. Because he just doesn't cook as much. Or doesn't cook that well. This set cost me about $45. Most of these sets um, are going to range up in the higher you know, um, price point. But they are so worth it. And again, I'm a collector. So I don't open any of them. The next one we're going to go to is we're going to go to the school cafeteria. Now, she has the hardest time with the school cafeteria because they serve a lot of meaty items and she is vegan, but she makes it work. They have a very inclusive menu thanks to her pushing the fact that it should be all inclusive because the school is all inclusive. They accept monsters of any kind and they believe even if you are evil, you can be good and you can do good things with the traits that make you a monster. Instead of being constantly picked on for having these monster traits, no matter how dark and evil they may have been derived or misinterpreted, there's always something that you can do that no one else can do. And that's just such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Her outfit is definitely on and popping, and she has bats on her shirt in light pink and fuchsia pink, and it's a black shirt that is a vest. She always has some nice little popping collar on, you know, hey girl. And her skirt is a lovely hot pink with the fang symbol that is representative of the Draculaura family or the Draculaura vampire type. 
Her shoes, super cute. They are nice little heels. They have hearts actually in the heel part. You can't really tell very well, but I will be putting up pictures after eh, after all of this goes down so you guys can see, after I go through all of this, so you can definitely see those little details that I am pointing out. Again, because of the small choking hazards, they have chosen to make all of the small choking hazards a nice bright color so you can find them on your floor. This one cost me around the $27 range, I believe. Again, these prices are definitely a lot skewed because these are now collector's items and I will pay whatever price is necessary to complete my collection. We're gonna walk this way past, we will get into talking about her and a few of the other ones that I have up here as well as the movies. But we have this one. It, um, it ran into a little accident with a kid. Um, it is fine. It's okay. I have it worked out to it being replaced. It has been opened. Again, you know how I feel about my Draculaurus not being in mint condition. So I do have money set aside that I will be buying to replace this one. I know it seems kind of silly, but if you're an avid collector like me, there's nothing more frustrating than having something be destroyed that meant a lot to you. And that's what I felt. But it's okay. They apologized and, you know... They offered to help replace it, and I've said, no, it's fine. You know, just be wary and be mindful of other people's things when you are being babysat. So this one is set at art class. Art class is something that you'll see in the Scaremaster collection. Uh, I do believe are, it is are the Ghouls collection. Um, but this one, again, smaller pieces are, you know brightly colored just in case you lose them and i'm sure if you guys were paying attention close attention to the last video that this outfit looks very 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 how you say reminiscent of another one that is correct this is the same outfit that you saw her in the scarney of all draculaura doll crazy isn't it so this is between uh one in the same episode i do believe there it is interpretation that there is interpretation that maybe they just didn't have any other clothes to put on her or if you weren't able to get the scarnival they put uh, this outfit in this set this set did cost me roughly 27 dollars um as much uh the same as the best you know beast bites cafe one did the one we just saw previous but i really do enjoy this one it is so nice to see, like, all her friends. And this one, um, these characters show up in The Scaris, Trip The Scaris, which is mostly about Claudine's evolution into finally owning the fashion that she is able to have, you know, the fashion know-how and being able to share that with the world. So we're going to move this one out of the way and we're going to just slightly lean into this one. This one is the lovely Monster High. Welcome to Monster High. It is actually an origin, the origin story of Monster High. Monster High was started by Dracula and Frankie Stein. We'll get into that as we talk about movies and as we get to their respective costumes. That is on the other wall. But her lovely little costume it is super cute. Again, she's wearing a nice little dress. Those pinks, those future pinks, light pinks are all coming in and all coming together. I know it seems crazy that how much pink do you need? The answer is yes, okay? Just, just get that out of the way there. But it is super cute. You can have her walk around with balloons. They can take their own little pictures. Um, you can take a picture with your stand. It's so cute. Ta-da! Her lovely little bat ears. I call them cat ears because, you know, I'm a cat. I love cats. I have three of them. So, and that's another collection that we will have to talk about. But this one did, um, was very expensive back in the day, but I managed to get it on clearance. I believe I bought this in a Target and it only cost me $12. Now, this is when Dracu, uh, when Draculaura Moss High, the entire family, um, the entire franchise started slowly, like, not being as prevalent as Barbie or, you know, Bratz and everything as all great shows end up happening. They just slowly kind of fade into the background. That's what happened with Monster High, but as an avid fan of Monster High, I wish it wasn't so, but let's get to the outro, shall we? 
and welcome back to my face. <laughs> but that was just some of the sets that I do own that are, you know, Dracula inclined, as I have already stated. I apologize, the camera quality kind of changed a little bit. My phone had started dying on me and it just completely died right after I recorded the intro. So I just grabbed my main phone and finished this recording. But I would just like everyone to know that I understand that this is kind of a childish thing to be so enamored with, especially since they're not in regular circulation anymore. Um, but they it makes me happy. It brings me happiness. You know, Dracula to me means so much because like she has so much against her. She is the shortest. She is the youngest of all the vampires. She, you know, is very outspoken for a vampire. She just doesn't she doesn't blend with what you know the trope of vampires and i really appreciate her character because hmm i don't want to blend <laughs> i mean i want my makeup to blend but i don't want to blend i didn't want to just be another like i want to be able to add to the great painting that is life like you might it might be like the smallest little paint but there's a reason why that paint was up there and that paint is me and that's kind of sort of her whole thing like like I said Monster High was founded by Frankie Stein and Draculaura and their whole thing is be yourself be unique be a monster because for a long time these monsters were hiding um from the normies they didn't interact with other monsters they kind of thought they were very isolated they thought they were they were by themselves that there was no one out there in the world that was like them that could understand them which is kind of crazy because like they knew there was other monsters but they didn't think that you know how is a wolf and a vampire supposed to get along? Like, for the longest time within the fantasy realm, they have been opposing forces. But you can see, like, if you truly accept other people's differences and what makes them who they are, you can have some of the most strongest friendships. Yes, you're going to butt heads, but at the end of the day, you're still friends. And that's what I think you need to take away from Monster High at the end of all this. Like, you can totally be who you are and you can totally respect someone else's differences that isn't like you. You can still do that and you can be okay. As a matter of fact, it'll create the greatest foundation for friendship ever, the mutual respect for each other. And that's kind of what Dracula means to me. So tell me down below in the comments what your collections mean to you, what they say to you. I don't care how small it is. Sorry, my hair just keeps sticking to my lip. <laughs> but uh, down in the comments, just, just let me know what your collections mean to you and what you have learned through your collections throughout the years. I don't care how silly it is. I don't care how short it is. Just let me know and just, you know, reaffirm with yourself that that's the reason why you are still collecting to this day. But if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Next video, English is hard. Oh my goodness. Next video, we are going to travel to the other wall. Da, 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 and meet a couple more Dracula dolls. I do have kind of sort of a playlist and everything um, that I'm trying to do. We're going to talk about Dracula dolls, then the movies, and then finish off with Dracula dolls. And then I want to give you guys some more information and a whole entire infomercial kind of style about Monster High and Dracula and its impact it's further impact on my life because I'm 26 guys I'm 26 years old okay but it's still relevant to this day and I want to share it with you guys so I'll see you guys in the next video toodles